Here we're going to tie Dell's Merkin Crab. This is probably the most popular permit crab out there. First thing we're going to do is just start our thread. And then we're going to take a pair of large brass eyes or medium brass eyes depending on the size that you're tying. We're just going to tie those in right at the front of the hook. Do some X wraps around those eyes, make sure they're nice and secure. Once you've got those tied down, we're going to take our thread all the way back to the bend of the fly. Then we're going to take two feathers, <clears throat> some grizzly feathers, and we're going to use the tips of these feathers, and we're going to tie them so that they splay away from each other. We want these feathers to be about the well, one and a half to one times the length of the shank of the hook. Make these a little bit shorter here. I'm just going to strip off some of the material to make them a little shorter. What we're going to do is we're going to pinch these into place. We're going to tie them right on top of the shank of the hook. And we want to make it so that they split and splay away from each other. So what I'm going to do is just take my thread and go in between them. And we can trim out the, the stems. Now the next thing to do is to take three strands of flashaboo and pearl. We're going to tie this in right in the middle section of the the flashaboo right on top of the shank of the hook. And then what I'll actually do is just double the other portion over. We all have six total strands. We want these to just lay right on top of the shank of the hook. And we'll trim these to length to about the lengths of the tails. And we're going to take our thread back. We're going to cover up all that flashaboo. Take our thread all the way back to the bend. Now we're going to start tying in some body sections. For that, we're just going to use some sand colored or white or tan or brown or olive, whatever color merkin you want to tie. I'm going to tie a sand colored merkin. And this, uh, little chunk of an EP is about a quarter of the diameter of a pencil when I kind of slim it down and it's about two and a half three inches in length what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tie this in right at the back and I'm gonna do an X wrap right down the middle of it and then I'll repeat that X wrap one that's a little bit tighter then I'll pull that EP out of the way and I'll lay down a couple of nice tight wraps right in front of it. And I have it tied in just like so. And we're going to repeat this process until we get to the front of the hook right behind those eyes. So I'll just keep doing this. Usually it takes about six sections, maybe a few more, just depends on how thick your sections are.
Now, once we have the body all tied in, you can see there I've just got a mass of EP fiber all tied. What I'm going to do is just take my thread, lay down a few wraps right up here behind all that EP fiber, then I'll jump just in front of those brass eyes, then I can just whip finish. Trim everything out of there. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to trim all of this EP fiber. I've got to give it a big haircut. So what I'm going to do is just draw it all up. And depending on the type of shape that you want, you can either do a, a rounded shape or you can do just a straight angled cut starting thin at the, at the front and uh, getting thicker as you go back. The Merkin in the traditional past has had kind of a rounded body, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to round it. I'm just going to trim up, and when I get to the top, I'll start to move downward angle. Then you can pull all that EP fiber down, and there's always going to be a few straggling fibers. You can just trim those out of there. There's always some long ones that you miss or get caught. And so far, the crab's looking pretty good. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the fly. And all we're going to do is just invert it. This way you can see a little bit more of what I'm going to do here. And then we're going to have three pieces of white round rubber leg material. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rubber leg material I'm going to work it through the top of the fly. So all I did was I went around the top of the fly. And then I'm going to have it come out the bottom. And what I'm trying to do here is just pick out any of the, the EP fiber that got caught with it. I don't want any of these fibers to really be caught. So I can just kind of pick them out of there. And if there's a couple I won't worry about it too much. Then all we're going to do is just take our rubber leg and we're going to tie a overhand knot in it. Then I'm going to do the same thing. Do another overhand. So I'll have a double overhand knot. You want that knot to seat right down the, the middle of the fly. If you get an EP fiber, there's plenty of it in there, so you can just kind of trim it out. And we'll do the same thing just in front of that piece. Pull any of the EP fiber out of the way. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then I've got a last piece. I'm going to put this one right near the front. It's easiest if you leave your legs fairly long too and they get a little short on you. This one did, they get kind of tough to to deal with.
All right. Now the next thing to do is you're going to take a red marker, red permanent marker. We're going to take three, each three legs on each sides. We're going to pull them all together, and we're just going to marker up the the tips of these legs. I put a little strip in here, it's about half an inch long or so. Once you've got the legs markered up, you're just going to trim the legs to just past the marker point so that the tips have little red red tips on them. And you got to let that marker dry of course. Then what you'll want to do is put a little bit of glue down the center of the, these EP fibers. What I'll do is just take a little bit of brush on Zappa Gap and I'll just put little dabs of it down the center all over the head of this fly. And that should keep those EP fibers locked in place. Give you a better look at this fly. Maybe I'll zoom out here a little for you. You can see I have those splayed tails. nice legs on them. And these legs when the fly rides upside down you can see how they kinda slightly have an upward angle. That's what you want. The legs will kinda sit there and tantalize the fish. Get them into the eating mo mood. And you can find all the materials for this fly along with recipe information at intheriffle.com.